welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Dina I'm a Catholic wife and mother and in today's video I'm going to share with you the things that I think every Catholic home should have the first thing I think that every Catholic home should have is a Bible we have many in our home from just this type this is the one that my children use I have the one that I've talked to you guys about before, Catholic Women's Devotional Bible. And my husband has one as well. And of course, you can always find them online. Another thing that every Catholic home should have, the Catechism of the Catholic Church. Anything that you ever wanted to know about anything about the faith will be in this book. It's absolutely invaluable. Something that you might not have is your own missal. So we attend the Latin Mass. So we have the 1962 version of the Missal. Now, we also have one that's for the times that we have to go to the Novus Ordo Mass. We have our own Missal for that as well. And it has all the readings in here. So this is something. And also another thing that's really great about these is there are so many prayers. It has the Stations of the Cross. It has how to pray the Rosary, an examination of conscience, just different things to, you know, prayers to have before you receive communion after it's invaluable so it, this is definitely something that I recommend and I'll link it down below in my description where you can get one for yourself now yesterday was um, Palm Sunday so hopefully you made it to mass and you had palms blessed now these we um, have them behind almost all the crucifixes in our home everyone has one in their bedroom so definitely palms now if you missed Mass yesterday, you probably have to wait till next year, but definitely something to do. A rosary for every person in your house. This one, I told you guys in a previous video, I had blessed by the Pope, so it's a special one for me. We pray the rosary every night, so definitely everybody in your home should have their own rosary. Another thing I recommend is holy water. Now, you can get the container. Usually, your parish will have some type of bookstore or something where they sell different Catholic items, you usually can get one there. If not there, Amazon, I'll link it down below. Usually in, somewhere in your parish, there will be a big, large container that contains holy water and it just has a spigot and you just put, you know, you open this up, put it underneath there and you bring holy water home. And we have, I didn't take them off the walls um, and I'll, I'll insert a picture here of the, of the fonts that we have. So we have two of them to the two entrances to our home. My daughter also has one in her room, and I think I'm gonna get one for everyone else's room. So we just, just like how it is in a church, how you have, right when you walk in, there's holy water and you bless yourself, we have that. Another thing I recommend that you have in every room of your house is a crucifix, and bring this to your parish and get it blessed. So anything that I've talked about here, the rosary, obviously the holy water is already blessed, but your rosaries, anything that you wear, crucifixes, anything like that bring it to your parish your priest will bless it for you so we have a crucifix different ones over every door in our home so i don't even know how many we have but we have a lot of crucifixes in the house definitely get one of those have it blessed another thing i would recommend is contacting your priest and asking them to come to your house to bless your home now that was the first time we had it done was here when we moved from florida to here and contacted our priest he stayed for lunch he walked in every room of our home and he blessed it with holy water and different prayers he had my husband say certain prayers it was really beautiful and i definitely encourage you to do that so don't be intimidated or, or afraid to invite them into your home it doesn't have to be anything fancy we had sandwiches and salads and dessert and we gave him a small offering and it was great I also would recommend that you have images in your home. So we have the Sacred Heart and the Immaculate Heart of Mary. I'll insert a picture here um, for you. So definitely have images in your home. And I also have different signs, like you can see this one here, and I'll insert another picture of one of different Bible verses that I like around my home. So it's just always reminders of my faith that I like to have. Now something that I didn't bring inside is right in front of our front door we have a statue of Our Lady and I definitely recommend doing something like that. And another thing that we're going to be doing this summer is we're going to be building a prayer grotto for Mary. So if you know where I can get a larger statue of Our Lady, let me know in the comments down below because I definitely want to get one that's bigger. 
I mean, not one that's the size that you'd see in a, in a church, but bigger than the one I have now. So the one I have now is probably 18 inches. So I want something a little bit bigger, maybe three feet, something like that, I think would be nice. And we're gonna build that and I'll definitely share a video of that with you. Now, the one thing that you might not have thought about, because I didn't even know that this was a thing, and I've been Catholic since I was two weeks old. I didn't even know this was a thing. When you contact your priest, ask him for blessed salt. I didn't even know that this was something that I should even know about, so I wanted to share it with you all. It's a sacramental, just like holy water is, and you can use it in your home. So you can put it around your home. I've heard that some people even use it in their cooking. You can ingest it, you can sprinkle it outside, out around the perimeter of your home. Definitely something to look into. I will link some information about it down below for you if you're interested in learning more about blessed salt. I'll also link things of the Bible that we use, the missile, the Latin mass missile, as well as the missile that you can use if you attend the Novus Ordo. So these are the things that I think that you might not necessarily think about in a Catholic home, but if you walk into my house, you'll absolutely know that you're in a Catholic house. So I hope that this video was helpful, gave you some new ideas, things that you can add to your own home to make sure that you have all these different reminders of our faith and how important it is. I hope you guys um, like this kind of content. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and leave me a comment below and let me know what things that I have shared do you have in your house or maybe something that I don't even think about in this video that maybe I could get to add to my collection of Catholic things in my home. So I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. God bless.